Yeah, going into our next subject of the night, Newegg and uh, Gamers Nexus. So let me give you a quick recap for those that don't know or you've been living under a rock in the tech community. Steve from Gamers Nexus essentially got scammed from Newegg by getting a motherboard that they never even opened, right? They received it. They're like, oh, we don't need some. They shipped it back. They didn't even open the box. Newegg denied their RMA saying that it had been pins and Steve was like, WTF? We didn't even open the darn thing. You shipped it to us like this, all right? So that's what happened with that. A lot has happened since. Steve has actually already had a trip going out to California for some testing on specialized equipment and learning how to use um, equipment on their uh, wind tunnel testing and all that. So he figured, hey, while I'm here, I'm going to schedule an appointment to meet Newegg. Since like a bad ex, they keep contacting him, right? So uh, he told Newegg of date, location, and time, and all that good stuff. Uh, he has not made that public yet because he doesn't want, you know, all that stuff to happen. They did tell him um, they agreed to meet him, and they told him who they're going to be meeting with, all that good stuff. So as of right now, that is all scheduled and may have even already happened. We don't know. But it's supposedly, allegedly, is going to happen here very, very soon. And Steve's definitely going to have information about that. Of course, when that does come out, we will definitely be talking about it and breaking down what happened and the story thus far. But that is the current state of affairs with Newegg. Now, Newegg also released a Twitter post showing an updated policy of their uh, open box and, st and RMA processes and how, you know, Oh, we're sorry. We got caught. I made that last part up. Oh, they didn't they did say, say that. Yeah. 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 They said, we're sorry. We got caught. Uh, so uh, I don't know if you guys follow me on Twitter, but when they made that statement, and they said all this stuff. My response to them on Twitter was, so my question is, why are you guys doing something about it after you get caught? A little harsh, but true. It's very true. Um, so that's the current state of affairs with that. Uh, they released that Twitter post about uh, the updated policy. And of course, this doesn't change the fact that they're still having issues with uh, the shuffle, uh, people still getting scammed, and of course, the tons and tons of consumer complaints that they've been getting. So uh, that's the current saga with Newegg and I mean, we've read in the comments that that video we released, if you haven't seen it, um, that came out a couple of weeks ago. Um, it's called like Newegg Scam and Newegg Scam for Gamers Nexus Response. A lot of people have been commenting how they've had also, they've also had bad experiences with Newegg as well. So um, if you guys have had an experience with Newegg, please let us know in the live chat or in the comments down below if you're watching the either podcast clips or the uh, rerun. Yeah, and so, people always yeah, like people always talk more about bad experiences than they do good. We'd love to hear if you had a good experience as well. You know, just as another data point. Um, I I don't think I've heard a story where like a, a new egg return went smoothly, right? So, like for me, I returned an an AIO cooler one time, a Corsair. It was opened and it had an issue. I returned it. And I was reaching out to Newegg like every couple days. What's up? You know, it shows delivered to you. Oh, yeah, we haven't processed that return yet. Should be tomorrow. Oh, yeah, we haven't processed that return yet. Should be tomorrow. <laughs> this went on for like two weeks. So like, I think it was three weeks or, or four weeks maybe before I actually mm -hmm. got a refund. So not great. I did get a refund without like, you know, I didn't have to fight them about whether the return was valid but they just really took their time with it. So, you know, it's with an AIO, it's a little different. They can't, you know, say, oh, it's got bent pins. No, they can't, they can't <laughs> pull that AIO on. Your AIO has, has bent hoses. <laughs> yeah, they'll send it back to me just destroyed. Um, <laughs> they'll just send you a different one and say yeah, that, that was the one you sent. Exactly. Um, but anyway, uh, in contrast, as I was saying at the beginning of the stream, I upgraded my laptop with a new SSD. But I was an idiot and bought a double-sided one before checking if it would fit. So I had to return that. I returned that to Amazon. Uh, I dropped it off at UPS for free. 
And uh, by the end of the day, I got a notification that my refund was processed and uh, back on my original payment method. So why can't Newegg be more like that and actually just not only accept the return, but process it in a timely manner and refund it? That would be great. I think all, uh, I think all online retailers should strive to be as good as Amazon in the returns department. I agree with that. I mean, I know a lot of people have very strong opinions about Amazon as a company, but yeah. um, the matter of the fact is, guys, if you don't like it, you don't have to shop there. And unfortunately, for me at least, me personally, I don't like how they do certain things as well. But the convenience factor for me is very, very convenient. And um, I, I am not a proponent of anything that they do that's negative, but I, I don't know what to tell you guys. Unless another competitor comes along that offers the same convenience, to me, it's worth it. Um, going on that, Andrew, uh, your experience with Newegg is not uncommon. It appears a lot of people have these issues. Uh, a quick story with me. Um, Returning something on Newegg is very difficult. Like they don't make it easy, right? You got to go through a couple of steps. You got to get an RMA. On Amazon, it's basically automated. You don't have to wait for an RMA. It's just insta RMA approved and you get to send it back. Yep. And I mean, yeah, they might lose some money on that. But overall, it makes me as a consumer know that if I buy something and for whatever reason, I don't want it, I could return it, makes me more willing to buy it in the first place. So I think that is something that Newegg might have to really look into to see how much shrink they're really losing on people that do bad returns versus people that would just go ahead and buy something and keep it rather than go to Amazon and buy it for the convenience. Yeah. Um, let's catch up on the chat here. Uh... <laughs> Let's see. Uh, Soul7 says, you're not guilty until convicted. Getting caught equals conviction. <laughs> oh, that is that's sad. Oh, yeah, that's 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 the way things work, right? Oh, hey, Tyson, how you doing, sir? Welcome to the live stream. Thanks for coming by. Bacon, eggs, and hash, how you doing, man? And another person, I don't know if I've seen you before. They just screamed my name. How you doing, sir? Tiger Gaming and Crypto. Um, let's see, just kind of reading on the chat. Tyson says, had a CPU that did not function. They tried to deny because the packaging was not OEM. I shipped it back in the same generic cardboard box they shipped it to me in. Wow. That is, a, that's, uh, I mean, it's almost like they had a policy to like deny returns no matter what, as best as you can. Because, I mean, it's not even giving the customer, being that a lot of, there's got a lot of scams, a lot of problems, I, I get that. But it's almost like they just don't trust customers off the bat. Yeah, I mean, like you said, there are some percentage of returns that will be either uh, just not, uh, like, shouldn't have yeah, been shrink. returned, that like, weren't defective, but returned as defective, and then a number that will be fraudulent. But that's part of doing business and, you know, you make Cost more money by taking care of the good customers than you do that, by screwing them over. Yeah. Those good customers will come back and spend more money. Yeah. So, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I'd be, I would love to see a spreadsheet that shows the analytics of new egg sales since this whole thing's gone live. In the past, you know, few they're not going to release that. No, I know, but it would be just amazing to see the drop off. I would love to see that, honestly. There, uh, one okay, more thing to uh, to not shop on Newegg for would be from the third party sellers on their marketplace because it mm -hmm. seems like they encourage and let just about any scam on their own marketplace, regardless. Um, I saw someone link to it uh, last week, I saw a Chinese seller on the new egg marketplace but you know they just mix it in with the search results uh, mm -hmm. a 16 terabyte flash drive for like 50 bucks and like it was in the title Dude, it was in legit. the description it was in the pictures like they were selling this as a 16 terabyte flash drive wasn't a typo 
Uh, and if you Dude, don't know I, I the scam, it, it works. If I you plug don't it know in, the it shows scam, 16 terabytes. <laughs> yeah. You plug <laughs> it in and it shows 16 terabytes and then you write some data to it and all of a sudden all your data is gone because there was never 16 terabytes. You'd be probably lucky if it was 16 gigabytes, but more likely it's probably like a one gigabyte flash drive that just writes over megabytes. and over and over again. <laughs> so uh, yeah, you got to... Newegg is just, they're still living in the past. You know, they should have a marketplace that gets rid of those shady sellers in the first place. They should be handling returns like returns are the, the way returns should be. You know, if they're worried about fraudulent returns, they should just be, you know, they should be monitoring serial numbers in and out. Um, and, uh, you know, they should have accountability in terms of, you know, they shouldn't be asking, they shouldn't be blaming the customer for damage. They should be checking the cameras in their, in their own warehouse, mm -hmm. you know, not, not to say, uh, a consumer can't damage a product, but it seems like fairly often it gets damaged after they receive it. So, uh, yeah, they really need to be looking more at themselves than, uh, waging war with the, uh, customers that support their business. Or, um, at least do a better job of not getting caught. Yeah, I, mean, I don't yeah. know what else to say. Like, you can't be that stupid and leave the the dang thing on the motherboard and send it out. Like, yeah. <laughs> it's like it's like robbing a store, taking a selfie, posting on Instagram, then leaving your pan prints on everything, and then leaving your ID on the floor. Like, you know, it's like they they literally shot themselves in the foot and the head. <laughs>